I've been dying to create a futuristic slash alien girl type of look for you all for the longest time, and when I came across this costume, I thought it was just perfect for what I had in mind. Okay, you can literally go crazy with all the costume makeup they have at Party City. I have more glitter and crystals from them than I know what to do with, but I'm sure it'll all come in handy for Halloween looks. From the photo of the model and the costume's packaging, I was inspired to create a look that involved crystals and top it all off with a blue wig, cause why not? So I already have my foundation on and I'm going to hop right into the eye makeup. Start by priming your lids to keep any product we apply in place until we decide to wash it off. Next, I'm laying down this shimmery white cream shadow by Maybelline onto my lids just up to the crease. I smoothed that out with a brush and then added some more product at the outer part of the eyes just to create this winged effect. Now I'm using this glitter adhesive from Too Faced and dabbing a little of that at a time to my lids and then adding glitter over where I applied the white cream shadow. The reason I'm doing small spots at a time is because I find that the adhesive dries really quickly and also it could just be very messy to try to put glitter on all over the place all at once. I'm using a damp q-tip just to clean up any edges where the glitter may have gone a little too far. With a clean dry brush, flick off any excess glitter that has fallen down on your cheeks. You can also use some scotch tape to pick it up. Reapply any foundation or concealer under the eyes if you need to touch up. I know I did. I'm tracing a purple eyeshadow above and below where we applied the white and the glitter. Make sure to feather the ends out. Add a shimmery white eyeshadow to the inner corners to brighten them even more. I'm going to be using this bright electric blue eyeshadow on my face. Using fishnet material, this was actually a wig cap that had ripped so it was perfect. I'm going to use it to create a dotted effect with the eyeshadow on my face. I pinned one end of the fishnet to my hair and held the other end in place with my hand. Be careful not to let go of the fishnet accidentally while you're applying the eyeshadow. I changed the positioning of the fishnet and went in with a light blue color on top just to create a variation in color. Then I used a purple across the forehead. Shimmery shadows look great for this because they'll catch the light in a very pretty way as you move about. Time for liner. I'm lining along my top lash line with a black liquid liner and winging it out pretty dramatically. Then I'm adding a mini wing coming out at a little bit of a different angle. It almost looks like lashes. Then for no reason I lined along the top of the white and glitter with black liner. I've mentioned this before but I usually don't practice looks ahead of time so I never really know where I'm going exactly. It's all very spontaneous and in the moment. When else would I get to use these purple lashes? When the lashes are on, I'm going over the lash line with black liner again, just to hide any lash glue that may not have dried entirely clear. I used an eyeliner to transform my brown brows into a turquoise color. 
Running a clean mascara spoolie thing helps to blend the product in a little bit better, just like if you were using an ordinary brow pencil. In my fantasy, if I was an alien, I'd be born with crystals on my skin, kinda like how humans have beauty marks and freckles. light pink lip gloss on the lips, and then I dab some silver shadow and a white glitter on the center of my lips. It gives it a little something extra, don't you think? These crazy gloves that came along with the costume are so much fun. If you still haven't found your Halloween costume this year, you can get 20% off any costume by using the code Jessica2 at PartyCity.com.